Our new release is iOS 14. This year, we spent time rethinking some of the most iconic elements of the experience on iPhone. We're doing more on our iPhones today than ever before, so we've rethought some of the core elements of iOS to reflect this. Let's dig in, starting with the home screen. Today's home screen works great, but as we get more and more apps, we can end up with this, lots and lots of pages. Wouldn't it be great if there were a way to organize all of those apps without doing a thing? Well, this year we're doing just that with something called the App Library. It's a new space at the end of your home screen pages that automatically organizes all your apps in one simple and easy to navigate view. I just go into jiggle mode, tap the dots at the bottom and check this out. I get a zoomed out view of all my app pages. I can simply tap to hide the pages I no longer need. And now with those pages hidden, App Library is always just a swipe or two away. Next, let's turn to widgets. So let's swipe over to Today View and take a look at our new widgets. They're just beautiful. And the new designs are more data rich than ever. And you can see they now come in a variety of sizes. So you can pick just the right level of information for each one. Now, we like these new widgets so much, we wanted to make them even more accessible. So check this out. I'm just gonna tap and hold on the weather widget and I can drag it out of Today View and onto my home screen. But you know, right now what I wanna do is grab this widget up top. It's a really special one. It's called the Smart Stack. I'm just gonna tap it and drop it here. With the Smart Stack, I can easily swipe through widgets to pick just the one I want for the moment. But what's really cool is that the Smart Stack can actually do this for me automatically. So in the morning, I can get my news briefing. Throughout the day, find out when I have a meeting coming up. And in the evening, I might get a summary of my activity for the day. So here on my home screen, the Smart Stack is showing me the TV widget. So I can just tap to start playing a show. Now check this out. When I swipe to go home, the video automatically goes into picture in picture right over the home screen. And when I launch another app, like Notes, I can keep watching. Now I can drag the picture to another part of the screen. If I wanna make it bigger, I can even pinch to zoom. And as I move between applications, it stays with me. And what's cool is I can also swipe it to the side and the audio keeps playing when it's off screen. Now, here on the home screen, I can bring it back out if I want. And I have controls to get back to full screen playback, or I can just tap the X to close it. Since we launched Apple Watch, it's completely redefined what a watch can do. And we're taking this even further in watchOS 7, starting with complications. Until today, an app could appear in only one spot at a time on a watch face. In watchOS 7, developers can enable multiple complications, making even more richly personal watch faces. So if you like to use Dawn Patrol for surfing, you can create your own surf watch, including water temperature, swell, and wind speed predictions for your favorite beach. Or new parents can use Glow Baby to see nap, changing, and feeding times all in one face. With watchOS 7, we're making it super easy to share watch faces, so you can discover a face that works perfectly for you. To do this, we're introducing face sharing. You'll be able to discover curated faces with third-party apps on the App Store, or discover a new favorite watch face right on a website, or receive watch faces directly from friends and family. There are many ways to look at sleep. Scores, advanced monitoring, or sleep cycle analysis. Apple Watch tracks your sleep using a machine learning model that senses your motion and even interprets the micro movements caused by the rise and fall of your breath, providing signals for when you're awake and when you're asleep. There's an updated sleep section in the Health app, including a view of your trends over time. Sleep schedules, wind down, and sleep mode are also available on iPhone without a watch in iOS 14. In addition to sleep keeping you healthy, there's another preventative care item that's so important, particularly now, hand washing. In watchOS 7, Apple Watch is the first watch to deliver automatic detection when you start washing your hands and sensing of how long you actually wash. During this, you'll get a little coaching to do a good job. You'll see a countdown along with haptics and sounds to make sure you wash as long as you're supposed to. If you pause early, there's a polite note to keep washing. And when you're done, you'll see, hear, and feel it. Apple
Apple TV is my favorite way to unwind and enjoy entertainment with the family. And we're making gaming on Apple TV even more personal by expanding multi-user support. Now you can instantly resume your games exactly where you left off. And for even more fun, we're adding support for Xbox Elite 2 and Xbox Adaptive Controllers. Apple TV also helps you keep active at home with a great selection of fitness apps. And with tvOS 14, we're gonna make your workouts and everything you do on Apple TV even more productive by extending picture in picture across the entire Apple TV experience. So you can keep up with the news or not miss a second of the big game. You can even have an AirPlay session show up in a picture in picture window. And AirPlay is getting even better. Now the whole family can share their stunning videos captured on iPhone in their full 4K resolution. Our next release of Mac OS is Mac OS Big Sur. Now on the Mac, we love our ability to get directly at controls like Wi-Fi or sound. And you can see that we've reworked these to be even more useful. But we've gone even further this year by giving you one place to get at all your controls. We've brought Control Center to the Mac. All of my controls are here and it's really easy to make adjustments. And what's really cool is that I can customize the menu bar with any of these controls. So say I want one-click access to Do Not Disturb. Well, I can just click and drag it right into my menu bar and customize just like that. Now, we've also reinvented Notification Center. You can access it by clicking on the time in the upper right. And as you see, we now have a single view that brings your notifications and widgets together all in one place. And we're bringing our redesigned widgets to the Mac. They're really beautiful, and you have all new ways to customize them. You can see I have a gallery of all my widgets, and they come in a variety of sizes. I can select between them just like this. Today, we're going to tell you about some really big changes, how we're going to take the Mac to a whole new level. Because today is the day we're announcing that the Mac is transitioning to our own Apple Silicon. When we make bold changes, it's for one simple yet powerful reason, so we can make much better products. When we look ahead, we envision some amazing new products and transitioning to our own custom silicon is what will enable us to bring them to life. What a huge leap forward for the Mac and for Apple. Apple Silicon will bring amazing technologies, industry-leading performance, and a common architecture across all of our products. What an incredible day of announcements. As you've seen, we haven't stopped innovating. We pushed all of our platforms forward in some amazing new ways.